Well, do, do I think that the perception that ventriloquists are weird is out there, or do I think that ventriloquism is weird? And obviously, I don't think ventriloquism is weird. But there's definitely a perception that it is, mainly brought about by uh, uh, stories that have been told about it and the way a dramatist can use the technique of ventriloquism to, for a story. Um, I mean, if you're gonna have a ventriloquist in a, in a plot, he's gonna be a villain. I mean, is there any other way, you know? I mean, it's almost like you have to put a mustache on the villain. And I think it's because ultimately, um, the ultimate horror story is Frankenstein. It's, the, it's a life that you have created that then destroys you. And that classic theme of when does, the, when does Frankenstein kill its maker is ventriloquism. We're always waiting for that moment to happen on stage when the creation destroys the creator. And we play on that. We ventriloquists play on that illusion because we want the audience at some point to think this character has just gotten the best of us. We may not be in physical danger, but emotional danger we are. It's saying bad things about us, bad things about them. There's, there's a, an essence that that's out of my control. And that's the illusion. So in itself, I guess it's kind of scary, you know. Um, but I think that there are a lot of scary accountants and there's a lot of scary, you know, plumbers, anybody, any profession has its weirdos, you know, we just get to see more of an example of that with ventriloquism.